Good morning, you guys. Oh my goodness, it has been a minute since we vlogged. If you didn't see my last video, we've all been sick. Kaisi got COVID, so he was the last one of all of us to get it. So we knew it was coming. He got that, um, and literally the day after he tested positive, Tones and I started feeling really unwell, and we both got the flu. So <laughs> the two of us had the flu, he had COVID, the girls were fine. Um, but yeah, that wiped us out for a week. But now we are feeling much better. We're back in action. Elfie's crying, so I'm gonna quickly go let him in. Oh my god, you're so wild. You're like a wild animal. Oh my goodness. Um, he's just going nuts. He does this every morning. I let him in. You wanna come say hi? Come here. Okay. Stop, stop bouncing. Stop bouncing. I can't get you. Say hi friends! Hi! Good morning! Good morning! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright, come here, come here, come here. Alright, come here. Oh. Who's my big baby? Oh my gosh. It's such an eventful time in the morning when I let him in. He ah ah ah! No 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 no. He's trying to pull things off the bench. I know, I love you. Here, what if I sit you on here? Come here! So I just dropped the kids off at school. Kaisi went to kindy. He has his kinder photos happening today. Um, he was meant to have them last week. However, because he was out with COVID, um, the lady was kind enough to come back and do them today for him. So that's really cool because we didn't want him to miss out on his photos. I had to get him down then because he's, maybe I'll sit down. Here I am, sitting the dog up like he's the king. I'm gonna sit down. My hair's looking pretty ratchet at the moment. It needs a wash, so I thought I'd just half tie it up and roll with it. I am so sore today. I did all the bedding yesterday, washed and dried, and I don't know why I'm so sore. Maybe it's because I was going up and down the stairs a lot. I don't know. So you guys are hanging out with me today. It's going to be a bit of a get it all done kind of a day. I have lots of laundry to get done. Just catching up on last week where pretty much nothing got done. I've got all the breakfast dishes to do because I can't relax until my kitchen's clean. So I've got to get those done. Um, what else we got to do? There's just lots of stuff. I don't know. We've got an unboxing as well. So we might do that in a little bit and then we'll just see where the day takes us. Oh my gosh, you guys, Tones surprised me with a new vacuum cleaner. I'm so excited. She's just over here charging up. Um, I got the new Dyson V7 or V8. I can't, oh, Alfie's got Alfie downstairs. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to go get him because I haven't shut the kids' bedroom doors and he will go in there and just terrorize the place six and a half hours later oh my gosh that was such a nightmare he literally <laughs> i'm gonna give him his phone he goes upstairs and he will hide from me so i literally have to search everywhere and then he'll bolt out of a room <laughs> i'm gonna give you a treat in a sec we're down to the last street so we need to go and get more okay okay settle i'll show you how he gets his treat he has to okay sit uh -uh. Sit, stay, He's sliding down. Okay, good boy. Enjoy my friend. <laughs> so back to my vacuum cleaner. I initially had a Dyson and I loved it. It was amazing. And then it hit the fritz. So we picked up the Kmart cordless vacuum because we'd heard really good reviews about it and for the first week or so it was really good and then it just sort of stopped sucking properly even though I'd clean it out and I'd clean the little filter and everything that still didn't fix it and it was just driving me nuts like if you were to vacuum up, vacuum up little stones and things 
they would all just fall out. It would throw them all over the place. And then as soon as you turned off the vacuum, they would all just fall out. And it was really doing my head in. It was really getting me down, you know? And then um, a parcel arrived at the door and Tone surprised me with it. So I was very excited. And it has like a nice little narrow head on it. So it really gets in all those tight places that you want it to and gets up close to the walls and stuff, um, which my Kmart one didn't. So it used to take me a lot longer to clean because I'd have to like take the head off and try and suck things up. Whereas this one just kind of does the whole kitten caboodle for you. So highly recommend the Dysons. You just can't, you never hear a bad word about a Dyson. Well, I haven't anyway. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna get started on the morning jobbies. I'm looking at you. I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this. Our hands touch once or twice, feeling kind of hypnotized. I'm looking at you and I feel the tension. You know, this could be like heaven I am right here, doing my best to make you feel like I do And just for a second, you're looking at me Making me feel like maybe you want this too Give me your attention Just like water, you're making me weak now. What doesn't kill you makes you. Our hands touch once or twice. We should let them. In. So that reminds me, I need to get some sort of a scrubbing brush that will fit inside my narrow water bottles to clean them, because the heads on the ones that I have don't fit. So if you've got any recommendations of like little scrubbing brushes that fit in a hole about this big. <laughs> You should let me know. I feel the tension. You know, this could be like a fun. I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do. take a wee little break from all the cleaning and do a little unboxing with you guys. I'm really excited about this package that arrived. It was kindly sent to me by Fitville who are an athleisure wear company that specialize in comfortable running shoes. Um, I don't know if you guys know but I have a foot injury that I've had for a couple of years now and I've had scans on it. I've done um, physio, all sorts of things. I know where orthotics for it. I think as I was exercising in some shoes that I shouldn't have been exercising in, I now have some nerve damage. So that's what it's kind of been put down to. But I have these special shoes that I wear now with my orthotics that help try to take the pressure off my front big toe. Front big toe, but the same thing. Front toe, big toe. Um, because I get really bad shooting pains through it when I exercise, kind of when I put pressure on it. So that's not fun. But anyhow, Fitbill reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test out some of their runners, which specialize in comfort and exercising safely and reducing pain. So of course I said, yes, <laughs> I need all the help I can get. So I can't really remember what they look like. But I think they're similar to the ones that I do work out in. Yes, they are. So the ones I have are grey, and these ones are a nice grey coloured shoe. Ooh, they're really nice looking. Wow. So first up, they feel really, really solid, and they're like a wide 
kind of a shoe so they're gonna be really good for anyone who has a wider foot as well i really love the color of them they have this really nice soft kind of like a velour feeling fabric all the way around and they have the little yellow detailings on them as well that's the bottom of them so they've got a really nice thick sole to them and they just have the laces that tie up the front so i thought we could test these babies out do some exercise in them as well and just see if they help reduce the pain that i get in my feet yeah they're super cushiony to the inside here which is good and yeah that lifts up Ooh, that's nice and that's the inside part so i'm gonna slip my orthotics underneath and then you also get a little pamphlet with your shoes that gives you lots of information on the shoes plus it also talks about massage and some of the issues that you could be having and how to alleviate them um, and they also had different shoe options available and colors on the website so i'll go ahead and link all the details below um, but yeah i'm excited to try these out oh those blue ones are nice too if i get another pair i might get that kind of a color all right i'm going to go ahead and pop my orthotics in and put them on oh my gosh i'm going to be wearing all gray today <laughs> that's gonna look crazy all right and just for reference i got these in a size eur 37 uk 4.5 us 6.5 w if that makes any sense basically a size 7 australian i think i also have a discount code which is just 18 to save yourself 18 percent off your order which is amazing so big thanks to fitville okay by the way help me up out of the way <laughs> okay come back i'm gonna have to put you out because you won't <laughs> Up out of my frame. Okay, sit there, sit there, over there, sit, stay. Okay, you guys, here they are on. Please excuse Alfie's little legs because he will not stay away. He wants to check out my shoes. They feel amazing, you guys. They actually feel a lot more comfortable than the ones that were recommended to me by my physio. I went to a special place um, and was fitted for shoes. Um, these ones feel a little bit wider than my other shoes so instantly they're more comfortable because I do get some pain across this top section here from tight shoes so these ones I don't have any of that they feel really really cushiony and soft to walk on hang on I'm gonna put him out so I can Sorry talk about that as soon as I put runners on he knows he's going for a walk so he was very excited but yes love these super super comfy they feel really nice to walk in, really cushiony. Absolutely love the color of them. I feel like you can team them up with like pretty much any outfit that you wanna work out in or just go out strolling in. And they're really lightweight and comfortable. So we need to go put them to the test where I'm at today. And then I can let you know my honest opinion at the end of the day, if I'm having any pain at all, which I get pain literally every day like it's not out of the ordinary for me to feel pain but yeah we'll work out in them and go for a walk and that will be a good indicator as to whether they're going to help reduce the pain by the way you guys i wanted to show you my new drink bottle this is not a brand deal or anything it's just a cool little drink bottle i got this one from typo and it has what times you should be up to in drinking your water and by the time you finished this bottle, you're meant to be totally hydrated. So I drink this bottle and then I try to drink a little bit more. Um, just because I find if I don't have something like this, I just don't take in the correct amount of water that I should be. So I have been using this lately and loving it. So type A, but I think you can get them like anywhere. You can get them super cheap online as well. This one was $30 I think so it was a little bit more on the expensive side but it's pretty, it's ombre 
and it was just there so I grabbed it. We might take Elfie for a quick little walk now um, and then it'll be lunch time so we'll come home have some lunch fold some laundry and then pick up the kids or pick up the kids and fold laundry we'll just see how we go for time anyway let's go walk Alfred's are you excited yeah are you so excited to go for walkies you wrap yourself up hang on hang on hang on calm down stop okay let's go <laughs> Okay, we just got home. The walkies were good. Alice had lots of fun. It was really, really windy though. So I'm gonna quickly have my lunch. Today I'm just having um, this salad from Coles. It's a barbecue chicken salad and it's really, really yummy. I like that it has some of the little pasta noodles in it because they're so good. So I'm gonna eat this and just rest for a minute. Um, shoes are feeling good, they're comfortable, and really cushiony to walk in and later I'll probably do like a proper workout on the treadmill and we'll see how they feel with that. Yum. Go eat. You know what? I'm gonna put on the um, neighbors final episode because I didn't get to watch that. So I think I'm gonna go and kick back and relax with my salad and watch a little neighbors. with me now. How was Kinder Cozy Boy? Good. It was good. Did you do your photos? Was it fun? Yeah? What did they have you do? Well, I did it on the train and I did it in shampoo and I did it playing Yoko, holding my Lego. Did you? Yeah. Well, that's fun. Even I did it on the parkour course. The what? On the parkour course. The parkour course? Yeah. What's that? It's like we gotta do this parkour. <laughs> okay. I didn't guess where it is. A mystery bag. Oh, what was his mystery bag? It was, wait, what was it? It was Baby Yoda. Oh, very cool. <laughs> it's Baby Yoda and Star Wars. Oh. For Kinder, Kai and his friends all have to take a mystery bag and have to put something inside and guess what it is. And I'll insert some footage now of was it last night or night before last um, when Kaisy was getting his organised. Good job, buddy. Kaisy is colouring in this little sonic picture for Kindy tomorrow because um, he has to take a little toy and a mystery bag and um, in his mystery bag and he had to write all these clues down um. and then i drew a terrible outline of sonic <laughs> trying to copy this guy this is little and buggy yeah. tail his little buggy tail <laughs> here's his little buggy tail that didn't quite turn out looking like a tail it looks like something else but we're just gonna roll with it um and he's doing a great job colouring it in. Are you excited to show all your friends? Yeah. Do you think they're going to guess who it is? Um, I think they will because they might, well, they might guess the flash because the flash is really, really fast. Mm -hmm. Wait, the research chapter is blue. Yeah. Oh, so they won't pick the flash. 
<clears throat> no, I don't know. His flash is blue or red? Is... <clears throat> the flash is red. Oh, he's red. So they probably won't pick him. Maybe you'll trick them. Okay, you want to say goodnight? No. They're going to bed now. You're going to go to bed in a minute after you finish. But say goodnight to everyone. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay, so we're going to head home and try and work out what we're going to have for din dins tonight. The kids are requesting KFC. Yeah. But that's naughty. <laughs> Um, so we're going to go and see. I'm due to do groceries, so I'm going to see if there's anything I can wrangle up. No! Maybe just some meat and veg. No, KFC! No, no I'm the jacks! <laughs> no, no, Nando's! Okay, so I've just gotten changed. I'm going to go ahead and do my workout now and test out these little babies and see how they go. I'm just going to jump, 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 jump on the treadmill. And yeah, I'll check back in with you guys when I'm all done. But they've been very comfortable to be walking around in today. They're really, really soft and cushiony. Um, the only thing I have noticed is that my foot does lift up a little bit at the back. But maybe if I just put on some more thicker socks, that will stop that. So I don't know whether I just maybe ordered the wrong size. Um, but other than that, they're feeling good. But yeah, I'm going to go work out now and then I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, you guys, I have just finished my workout and I am fair knackered to say the least. I look so rough right now. Oh my goodness. I literally just want to go and collapse but I wanted to let you know about the shoes you know these are actually some good quality shoes like I felt really supported in them they were comfortable I mean I of course still did have some pain on and off I don't think wearing one pair of shoes for one day is going to magically make all my worries disappear <laughs> but I'm interested to see over time how my foot improves. I would say that the shoes are comparable to the ones that I've had specially catered to my foot that are to control pain. Maybe even slightly better than them, slightly more comfortable, like a little bit more cushiony and softer to walk in. The other ones are a little bit more harder, I think, to walk in, which is really funny because when I unboxed these shoes with you, they feel kind of stiff and I just thought how are they going to go walking like and bending but they're super super comfy and easy to walk in and they do bend somehow <laughs> so I don't really know how that works but yeah I would say if you are looking for a good pair of shoes and you have foot issues and get pains and that sort of thing then these are definitely worth investing in or even if you don't have foot issues just to protect your feet they're a really really great comfortable pair of shoes so yes they get the tick of approval from me but yeah very very happy with these really loving the color of them and yeah see how they're like they're pretty solid like you can't really bend them but somehow they're really easy and comfortable to walk in. Don't forget to use my discount code JESS18 for 18% off if you are looking to purchase some of these shoes. I'm going to go ahead and close out today's vlog now. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I love you all so very much. Bye guys. Bye.